Happy Mother's Day! Um, just so you know, before I, I start these videos, I say a little prayer and I say, God, universe, whatever you believe in, you know, um, give me the message that the world needs to hear today. Because I take this seriously, believe it or not. I play, I act, I, I act silly, I do all these crazy things, but at the end of the day, I want to help people. And I want to make people feel better after watching me than they did before. And that's why I believe I have this gift of speaking and entertaining because um, it's a beautiful gift that I love to do. And today on Mother's Day, whether you're a mother, whether you birth a child, whether you've got stepchildren, whether you, um, whatever the situation is, at the end of the day, you're a woman. And being a woman is such a gift and such an honor that we get to, that we get to be a woman. Women are so powerful. They, I just, I guess today I just want you to know how amazingly powerful you are and how worthy you are. If you're sitting at home and you're feeling sorry for yourself or you're having to cook a big meal and it's your Mother's Day and you wish that you could just sit back on the couch and do nothing, well, you have to train people in your life to serve you. And I would say that this is the biggest lesson that I'm learning about to be 54 uh, next month, is I never let people serve me. That was foreign to me. I served everybody my whole life. And when you get to the bottom of why you do the things you do, and you do the self-discovery work on yourself. See, ladies, sometimes you're afraid to be alone because when you're alone, you can't run from yourself. You can't hide from yourself. It's easy to blame everybody all around you because of your situation and because you think that that's why. Let's move this blanket, it's bothering me. I don't want it to be the, in, the, in the video. Let's move that. I want it to be pretty aesthetics. There we go. This is my outfit too before I forget. And my shoes. I'm going to a Mother's Day lunch with my sister and my niece. Thank God for them. But sometimes you, you don't know how to treat yourself because you didn't do the work on yourself. So, um, what's coming up for me today on Mother's Day is, it's okay to be selfish. It's, it's okay to check out and say, it's Mother's Day. I get to do whatever I want today. Just because it's Mother's Day doesn't mean that you have to put on the whole party and you have to do all the cooking, and you have to do all the cleaning. Quite the opposite. Mother's Day means that you get to take a day off. You get to love yourself today. You get to direct the movie of your life today. You get to, there were times that I just wanted to just sit by the pool and do nothing. You know, at the end of my relationships, I was just like, I just want to sit by the pool and do nothing. You, whatever you want to do, whatever, whatever. But today is my day. And I just want to use this day as a reflection, as a healing day, as a recharge your battery day from the sun. Whatever it is that you love to do, it's your day to do that. And even if you don't have any money today, it costs no money to be out in nature. I'm telling you, one of the greatest gifts that I have 
learned is to go out in nature and it refreshes your mood, it re-energizes your whole being, your whole attitude becomes different. So today I invite you to look within. Look within and have a day of self-discovery. Have a day of recharging your battery. Have a day of loving yourself or learning to love yourself if you've never done that before. It's not selfish. In fact, the say, as the saying goes, if you don't fill up your cup and your cup is not overflowing by recharging in the sun and, re and just pausing for a minute, then you have nothing left to give anybody else. And I mean nothing. There were times in my life I was so depleted and so drained that I was just a robot. Just buzzing around, doing what I needed to do, but there was nobody there. There was nobody home. My kids will tell me, Mom, I just didn't think you were smart because there was just nobody home. Because I didn't give to myself. I didn't know how to give to myself. And now that I do, and now that I live alone, I have learned the best blessing in the world. And that is to take care of my vessel. We get one vessel in this life. We get to take care of it or we get to trash it. You have a choice every single day. Are you going to take care of your vessel? Are you going to take care of yourself so that you can be happy and your cup runneth over so that when you do meet people out in the world, you have the energy to give to whoever you need to give to? This is the most pivotal lesson I have learned in this healing journey is to give to myself. And that selfish does equal self-care, and it's okay. This has been the happiest, loneliest, uh, healing time in my life. And when I thought about this message, I thought, somebody out there needs to hear this because somebody out there is having a hard time and somebody out there has lost themselves. And when you're a mom and when you're a wife and you've got all these roles to play, you want to be superwoman. You want to not disappoint anybody and you want to be the all for everybody. But I'm telling you, how you can be the all for everybody is to take care of your love cup, is to take care of number one. So I invite you to pause today. If you've never meditated before, I invite you to meditate. And how it can be for the very first time is to get out in nature. Kick back in a, in a lawn chair. Don't put anything on, just listen to the silence. Listen to what you hear. Pretty soon you'll hear the birds and the trees and the squirrels and just all the beautiful, if you live by water, you'll hear the water sounds. Things may come up for you. Tears may come up for you. Sadness may come up for you. Joy may come up for you. All kinds of feelings will come up for you. And I invite you to stay in that. Stay in that feeling. And breathe through it. Do you know how many people do not breathe every day? I've been doing breath work meditation because 
we don't get enough oxygen in our lungs and we just don't take the time to breathe. So just breathe. Breathe in good energy and breathe out sadness and pain. And men, I know you're watching this and you're wishing I would just please be quiet so that I could share my outfit with you and I could dance around and be silly and, and show you what shoes I'm wearing and what do my nails look like and what cute things I can entertain you with. And I, and I have a place for that. There's, there's a place for that in the about up above. There's links up there that I, I do all that and I love it. And that's uh, my alter ego side. But I also have this um, intellectual side, this healing side that I have tapped into. And um, I have this platform where I can share my thoughts and my feelings. And on Mother's Day, I love to give a message that I feel is coming directly from God, universe, whatever. And this is the message I felt led to share is take some time for yourself today. And men, encourage your women, your girlfriends, your, if you love your woman, if you truly love your woman and you wish that she loved herself and you wish that she would dress a different way or feel better about herself or not be as tired, us women get so depleted, and I know men do too, and that's a di I'll talk about that on Father's Day. But right now it's Mother's Day. Encourage her to watch this video. And then maybe she will do see a different side in you, because she'll be like, hey, why are you watching her? What's up with that? If you can share this intellectual side of me to your wife, then maybe you too can build a healthier, more fulfilling relationship full of love and joy and acceptance. And accept her for who she is and love her. The good, the bad, the ugly, the flaws, the gained weight or two, whatever, whatever it is. And another thing I wanna say while I'm on that subject is for years I was my worst enemy. For years I looked in the mirror and I was just like disgusted with myself. Absolutely thought I was so ugly, so fat. Hated my body because I always had a big ass. I didn't understand where it came from no matter what I did. Even now when I work out it just keeps on getting bigger. And my clothes just keep on, my shorts from last year are tighter. And I'm like, I do all these things to take great care of myself. And there are certain parts of your body just, just keep growing and keep, you know, doing what they do. And so now I have learned to embrace that. I've learned to love my curves. I've learned to love my body. I've learned to look in the mirror and say, you're fabulous, Ursula just the way you are. And I've learned that once I get the tools to start loving myself and start dating myself and start dressing for my body type and embracing who I am and the fact that I'm still alive and I can get out of bed every day and I can run miles around most people, I have so much energy, is such a beautiful gift. So today I invite you to be nice to yourself. Take some time to relax. Take some time to reflect and meditate. Work on your issues. Heal yourself. Love yourself. Don't look in the mirror and say, oh my God, I'm so fat, I just can't stop eating. No, you look in the mirror and you go, wow, this is the mirror today. Look at my legs. They allow me to walk every single day. 
they allow me to have the most amazing, abundant life. I get to walk around and dress how I want. Wow, I'm abundant. There's nobody else like me. I'm fabulous. I can just put on a skirt. It just fits effortlessly over my body. And wow, that's amazing. Look at how great I look. Flaws and all. Because once you start doing that, you no longer see your flaws. And nobody else does either. Because see, if you don't point them out and you don't focus on them, everything on you becomes beautiful. And the more you live like that, the more you want to curl your hair. The more you want to put on earrings. The more you want to put on makeup. You want to get the good supportive bra that just lifts everything up. You want to wear the cute skirts and, and stuff. You want to go to the gym because you feel better after you go to the gym. And you want to love yourself and you want to put yourself on your to-do list. So today and for the rest of your life, put yourself on your to-do list. I invite you to take time for yourself, no matter what you're going through, whether you're alone, whether you have a huge family, you set the boundaries and the standards for your life and you start demanding what you need for your self care. And for years I was, hush I was shushed, I was told not to have an opinion, not to have any words of healing, energy was a lie, all of that. And I fought hard for my life. And I started over at 50, completely 100% over. I signed everything over to my ex-husband and I completely started my life over. And in six months of getting a divorce and giving him everything, except for me and my business and a few furnishings, I manifested a home, this beautiful home you see, in six months because I took every single day seriously. I cried, I, I journaled, I, I started going to the gym, I started walking every day, I just took a pause, I took a restart, and I decided it, it, uh, I'm gonna have to sink or swim and I'm not, I'm not sinking. I'm too powerful for that. So today I invite you to figure out what's in your way from having everything that you ever wanted. Money is yours. Health is yours. Freedom is yours. Abundance is yours. Beauty is yours. You can have it all. The only thing that's standing in your way is you. So as soon as you get rid of that resistance and you open up your heart and you silence yourself and start listening to the voice in your side yourself, that, my friends, will give you the guidance to have the most powerful, amazing life you could only dream about. If you would have told me this when I was a beat down doormat housewife, that I was gonna be able to manifest a house of my dreams, a life of my dreams, and to have infinite, infinite possibilities, I would have never ever believed that because I was so beaten down. So please today, share this message with everybody. Share this message today with everybody and I love you. I love you so much. And I invite you 
to love yourself today. Please start taking care of yourself. Start putting yourself on your to-do list. Start manifesting the life of your dreams today. You can have it all. You can have it all. And so it is, and so it is. I love you for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And isn't this dress so magically beautiful? I love it so much. And I deserve to look beautiful every single day of my life. And so do you.